Come here, buddy. Oh, the whale. Oh, man, he's getting pissed. Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Come with me. We have some work to do today, guys. I'm not going to tell you what's happening now. Although, if you were paying attention to my Instagram, you would know what's about to go down over here behind me. Don't worry about the pond. Don't worry about the big fish. Let's take a look at them just because I know you guys want to see over the wall. What's up, guys and girls? How you doing? Big Oh, everyone's coming over for a feed now. Of course you want to come over now. Earlier today, I was thinking about making a video of feeding all the fish, and uh, no one wanted to come say hello. But now they're all here. So what we have to do today is move all of our mollies. Look at them. They've all had babies. Let's go from the top. Let's go from the top really quick. Look at all the babies, guys. It's insane. All the babies have grown up so big. Look how many there are. So, um, I believe they had eight babies or so. How many is that right there? Two, four, six, seven, eight. There's eight babies in here. You can't really see it on the deeper parts of the, the tank, but these mollies have grown so big. It's insane. They were all smaller than these Mickey Mouse mollies, which there are four of them now. And now some of them are much bigger. Like these guys down there are much, much larger than the Mickey Mouse mollies. It's so cool to have this tank outside. I love it. I absolutely love it. But the thing is, they need a new home because we have to put our gulper catfish in this tank behind us. Hey, what you doing? Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't even know how I got back out here. Ow! Ow, ow, there's a lot of sharp plants. Ow. Okay, so there's a small pump that's connected to this one, and there's some piping. I don't know if you can see this from where you're standing. There's some piping that goes up to this tank, right? It turns out the pump was so clogged that this was its own little pond and ecosystem. It wasn't pushing out water. I didn't even notice. Um, it's probably been like that for about a week, and now it's like all backed up. Look at the tank. Come around here, look at the tank. Yeah, so the tank uh, is a little bit murky now. That's all. Uh, a little bit. Uh, That's so, a lot of murk now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's from the pump being backed up. And what we needed to do is scoop up all the fish. So right now, we got to wait <laughs> till the murkiness em? settles to scoop up all the fish. We have so many fish in here, and now I can't see a thing. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so unfortunately, I didn't realize that the pump was backed up. It looks like we're gonna have to take a day for this to clear up and all that gunk to settle before we can actually take these fish out and make some habitat for our gulper catfish. All right, so we're running out of sunlight. I thought we were gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but I kind of want that gulper out and about because we just got this huge shipment of stuff to rebuild the pond, guys. Yep, I'm gonna add a little spoiler alert. This whole entire pond is about to get professionally done my professionally I mean I'm doing it I'm not a professional pond builder but you know I'm pretty darn good so guys the sunlight is going down as you can see the Sun is on the horizon it's trying to run away from us we're running out of time but the water is actually clearing up very very fast that pump is 500 600 gallons per hour we got planes above our heads please 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 guys I have a quick solution to get this gulp for catfish in another aquarium but we're gonna have to really catch these fish really, really, really fast to make sure that they don't get eaten. Because if we put that gulper catfish in here, you never know, it might turn on and eat everything in the tank. So what I did, this is the exhaust from that tank. As you can see, come on over here, catch some girl. This is where all of the water comes back out and then flows down a pipe to right here. And then this comes out like a waterfall, beautiful, you know? But we need that quick fix. So what I'm going to do is just going to have to let this grass get some fresh water because it's dead anyway. Look at this stuff. Like a donkey couldn't even digest that. Ripped up these rocks, lifted them all up. I'm just going to throw this right inside the tank. Put the tank a little bit on the tilt. See if I can reach this. What I'm going to do actually is grab one of these bricks. Guys, I really don't suggest you guys doing anything like this. I just need to get this done like right now. Okay. So it looks like it's gonna be all right for the mollies. This is just for like 18, maybe 12 hours, guys. So this is gonna get filled up. You know, it's the same water that they've already been in. We don't have to acclimate anything like that. Um, this is obviously just gonna spill off into the yard. We're gonna water all this grass right here. 
all dead. And we're gonna have mollies that aren't eaten by our catfish. It's getting nice and low for us catching girl. All right, so we got our overflow. That's a little scary. I'm afraid that they might swim out of that. It, it is enough water, obviously, for them to be fine, but I'm still worried that they might end up jumping out. You know what, that's gonna have to do for now. Recording. All right, so I found a solution just in time. We're running out of time, as you can see, the sunset is behind us. We found a gate. Actually, I found the solution, but. Uh, okay, actually, Catch and Grow found the solution. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> if you don't follow Catch Him Girl on IG, it's right here. You click that. It, she's cool. <laughs> We're going to put this gate right on top of the tank just for now, just to make sure our catfish doesn't jump out. And then tomorrow we can build what we're actually going to build in the daylight so we're not out here getting bit by bugs and messing up everything. And you guys can actually see what we're doing. All right, so we got our ghetto fixed right here, right now. We're going to go ahead and move on over to go get our catfish and goldfish and uh, see if they can just relax right here while, oh, my salt sign tree just got wet. Good thing they're a water resistant. Pretty satisfied with this. How about you, catching girl? It looks good. Looks good. I don't think our catfish is gonna go anywhere. Get pretty close, get pretty close for us. All right, so we have about three inches of clearance. Uh, gulper catfish aren't really known for jumping, so I'm really not worried about it, but uh, I, I still am worried about it. Uh, you know, I'm pretty meticulous. I try to cover ourselves on every single basis. So I think this is gonna be our best option to do this as quickly as possible. Tomorrow we're gonna get up bright and early and start to build our new Molly stream. It's gonna be so cool, guys. You're gonna love it. But right now we're gonna go get our catfish and our goldfish and throw them in this tank and get rid of our tank that's in our house. This is what showed up at our door today, guys. These are all parts for the new pond coming up. I don't want to spoil it too much, but as you can see, it's going to be a really, really insanely big project. All right, guys, so now it's dark. We have all of our fish waiting. You see, there's the mega, the big gulp hiding his head back there. We got all of our goldfish. Everyone's happy and healthy, but guys, honestly, this is just a little bit too loud. Um, we're over there uh, watching TV and stuff, and this is like just like pouring rain it sounds like we can't even can't even relax i took a nap the other day and i thought i was in niagara falls so we're gonna move all of our fish i just had my net across the street and i left it over there so we're gonna have to be a little innovative today and grab all these fish either by hand or with this hat <laughs> you know you do what you gotta do to survive we have our water um i've been letting it sit here and acclimate uh the, both the same temperature and it's time to move over to the pond. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can grab all the goldfish first, maybe. Let's move this chair out of the way. All right, come on. This might be a little harder than it looks. There's one, there's none. Oh, there's two. Oh, 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 there's one. Check it out, check it out. Numero uno. <laughs> okay, now now we're getting the hang of it. We're getting in the meat. These guys are a little bit faster. Slow, slow. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Come on, guys. You can do this. Come on. All right. Come on. One more. God. This is harder than it looks. Got him, though. Got him. Money, baby. Money, baby. Boom. We got three for three. Three for three all in here that I think there's like 10. This is uh, this is taking uh, a little longer than I thought. We got the main goldfish in there, you know, we got the fat one. The fatty, fat, fat blob over there. Let's go ahead and get our, our the star of our show out of here. Come here, buddy. Come here, relax. Come on, oh man, he's getting pissed. Come on, it's okay, it's okay. It's just a hat. Ever seen a catfish wear a hat? I haven't. <laughs> He looks so cute in his little hat. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right. So we got most of the fish out. I'm gonna come back here with the net a little bit later and scoop the rest of these guys out because they're just way too fast and I'm just not that fast with this hat. <laughs> Although I appreciate you, Mr. Hat, for sacrificing your life for the good of the 
pond. Check to see if everyone's okay really quick, guys. Are we okay? We're good to go? Alright. Always bubblers on hand, of course. One. We got two. And we're ready to hit up the pond. Guys, are you ready to see my salsa and shoes, are you? Alright, buddy. You're going to have to take a seat. How you doing? What's up? You excited? Your new home? It's bigger. Just kidding. It's literally the exact same size. Oh, don't want to break anything. <laughs> anyway, we're ready to go. Don't forget the nerds rope. Eat one every day and you'll die. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time. It's time to add something new to the... Oh, why am I reaching so far? My arms. My little arms. The power of Thor compels me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're walking in the back. We're stuck in the back. Come on, come on, stay close. All right, it's nice and clear in here. I would love to just let all you guys be in here right off the bat, but we got to make a new home for our beautiful mollies. Guys, I think these are one of my new favorite fish because that is honestly my favorite color, and the fact that they reproduced is just such a beautiful thing to me. I could just kiss Mother Nature goodbye, but that's not where we're putting you. We're putting you over here. Oh, it looks kind of pretty. Look, right? <laughs> Guys, it honestly looks so beautiful at night. I don't know why. I think it's because of the light from over there coming into here. Alrighty, righty, righty. We already made a creek. I wonder if this goes all the way to the water. I don't know. We're going to have to see in the morning, but it's looking pretty darn good if you ask me. So it's time to insert our fish. Anyway, check it out, guys. Check it out. Yo. The main attraction. This is this is such a beautiful fish. Such a, you might never see him up close like this. Oh, 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 relax, buddy. Relax. I know I'm stressing you out. I'm sorry. Look, he looks like he's itching. He's itching his ear, guys. <laughs> Alright. Stay close, stay close, stay close. It's really dark. In you go. In you go. <laughs> there he is. Can you see him? Probably not too well with that grate on top of it. But we got number one in there. He's only going to stay in there for a little bit of time. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw these guys in here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Want to fall into my hand? That might be a better idea. Let's go ahead and let the flow flow. Here's number one. Number one. In you go. The flow has returned. Number two. Come here, buddy. Oh, the whale. <laughs> Look how cute the whale is. Mr. Little Blob. Boom. And number three. Come on. Come on. Oh, nice catch, right? <laughs> I heard you guys say nice catch. <laughs> Number three, going in. Wow. Boom. And uh, it looks like they're doing okay, though, but they're not going to jump out for sure. With this little crate, that's going to be perfect for them. Um, obviously, if the smaller goldfish wanted to jump out, which their feeder goldfish, um, I would be a little bit annoyed, but I wouldn't be too, too upset if that happened because they are feeder goldfish. I respect life, but sacrifice must be made for the money ship. Well, that took forever. <laughs> I can't tell you how hard it was to actually catch each and every one of these fish. <laughs> Except you guys are not going in here. Everyone still okay? Yeah, you're good on the hunt. You guys are going in here. See you later. And there was 10. Hopefully you survive. Be strong, my friends. We'll be right back to fix all this tomorrow. And we're going to fix you right up. I know it looks a little goofy, but uh, it's going to have to work for you. Ooh, excuse me, Mr. Moth. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, stay tuned because we've got a lot to do. Like crazy amounts of building, crazy amounts of fish collecting, crazy amounts of fish catching, and crazy amounts of fish keeping. Don't forget to copy your Real Legends Ever Die gear on my shirt. I ripped off the sleeves because we got some short sleeves coming out soon, though. Don't. Stay tuned, guys, and catch them all. Catch them all. Catch them all.